All right, Cody, you go first. Okay. Ugh. Oh, this is so lame. Yeah, it is. You guys want to go to a real bowling alley? Yeah, I love bowling. Dude, you know I love bowling. Well, I don't want to go to a bowling alley to bowl, you silly twats. Well, what else do we do at a bowling alley? Eat cheese sticks. They have cheese sticks? Ooh, oh. cheese sticks are good. Do they have cheese sticks? They have the best cheese sticks in the county. And you get a deal. Four cheese sticks for $4.73. That's more than a dollar per cheese stick. I know. That's how good they are. It's like an explosion of mozzarella in your mouth. Sometimes I like to take four cheese sticks and bite the tips off and let all the cheese drain into my mouth. It's like cheese bukkake. Oh, God, you made me hate cheese sticks. I think we should at least go try them if they're that good. After that description, dude? I mean, I think we should try it. Well, let's make sure everybody has the money. I do. I do. I don't. Well, I have $10, Joseph, so if you drink this entire gallon of hand sanitizer, I'll give you the money for the cheese sticks. Oh, you're on, dude. Joseph, don't drink that hand sanitizer. Dude, it's just like a full body cleanse. No, it's really not. It's for your hands. Well, I don't have $4.73. Well, I already gave half my money to Joseph, unless he's not going to drink the hand sanitizer. Sanitizer. Oh, I'm gonna drink you, dude. Why don't you just ask your dad? But what if he says no? Um, cry? Good idea. I'm on it. Get to drinking, Joseph. All right. Hey, Daddy. I don't want to eat my green beans, Daddy. Jeffy, what are you talking about? I need to borrow $4.73. Sell your toys. Marvin, you didn't even ask why he needs that money. <sighs> Jeffy, why do you need almost $5? So I can get some cheese sticks. You don't need to be eating cheese sticks. They're so greasy and unhealthy. You need to eat something like green beans. Well, I don't want to eat my green beans, Daddy. The answer's no. <laughs> $5. No, he needs to learn how to make money like an adult. Jeffy, you want to make money? You stop that. You cut that out. You need to sell your toys if you want to make money. Well, I ain't fine, but when I get hit by a train, it's all your fault. What does the train have to do with selling toys? Okay, Cody, I'm going to take my turn while we wait for Jeffy. <laughs> okay, do it. I don't know why you need my approval. <laughs> Gutter ball. Dude, you suck, man. <laughs> Drink your fucking sanitizer. <laughs> hey, guys. What'd your dad say? He said no. Did you cry? Of course I did. And he still didn't give you the money? No, he told me I gotta sell my toys. What? Sell your toys? Well, what kind of toys would we sell that we'd even make money from? All these toys are way too valuable. Well, you could sell that old 8-ball. Oh, yeah, you could sell the 8-ball. It doesn't work ever since I dared Joseph to drink the liquid that was inside it. Dude, you dare me to drink something, I'm gonna drink it. No matter what it is, I'm gonna go that bitch down. Well, what? well, before we sell it, I think we should probably fill it up with some kind of liquid so that it actually works. And it has to be a dark liquid so it actually looks like the liquid inside an 8-ball. Well, I have this Coca-Cola. He could fill the 8-ball up with Coke. Oh, that would work. All right, Jeffy, fill the 8-ball up with this so it actually works. Okay. All right, guys, I filled the 8-ball full of Coke. Well, shake it to make sure it works. Well, hold on, hold on. I think we should ask the 8-ball if it wants to be sold for cheese sticks. Good idea, Junior. Should we sell you for cheese sticks? As I see it, yes. Well, I'll sell that motherfucker, Jeffy. All right, Diddy. I found the toy I wanted to sell, Diddy. Jeffy, you have thousands of toys, and the only toy you want to sell is a stupid eight ball? Yeah, it's my eight ball full of Coke. What? Why are you calling it that? Well, because the eight ball was missing the liquid out of it, so I filled it out with Coca-Cola. Nobody's going to want to buy your stupid toy full of soda. Well, where do I sell it at? You can try to sell it at a pawn shop, I guess. Okay, Diddy. Stop talking like that. Officer Simmons! Officer Guy, Get in here! Hey sir, me and Simmons are arguing again. So when we execute somebody by firing squad, only one of us has a real bullet, right? The rest are blanks? That's right. See Simmons, I told you we only get one real bullet. Well, can I have the real bullet? No, you're not supposed to know who has the real bullet. That way you don't feel bad for shooting someone. Oh, I won't feel bad. I want to shoot someone. Yeah, see, that's the problem, sir. I also want to shoot someone. So can we both please get real bullets? No, 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 that's not how it works. But sir, if he's gonna die anyway, we might as well shoot him twice. It'd probably be quicker that way. Yeah, I'll shoot his head. And I'll shoot his heart. It's a win-win. In. Look, boys, that's not why I called you in here. Now, there's this pawn shop that we believe has been buying and selling illegal narcotics. So we got a warrant from Judge Pooby for you boys to go in there and put a bug. And whenever you hear them talking about illegal activity, you go into that pawn shop and bust their asses. Well, sir, are you sure we have a warrant from Judge Pooby? Ask him yourself. Yes, I granted the warrant. Okay, good. It's always good to have a warrant, kids. But sir, if we bust this pawn shop, can me and Simmons please get real bullets next time we do a firing squad? I'll think about it. You hear that, Simmons? He's gonna think about letting us shoot somebody. Oh, goody. Come on. Hey, welcome to Gary's Goodies Pawn Shop. If we don't have it... 
For the right amount of money, I can get it. Wait, doesn't a dolphin usually run this place? Nah, he runs the pawn shop across the street. So what can I get for you? I have Tom Brady's Super Bowl rings. I have a Dragon Ball. I have the Pink Panther Diamond. Or I have this lovely Lady of the Night that's only been used twice by me. But for an extra surcharge, I can wash it for you. No, I'm good. Wait a minute. You guys aren't cops, are you? Because your outfits look like cop outfits. No, these are our Halloween costumes. It's February. Oh, darn. I thought it was October. Well, I guess we need a calendar so we know what month it is. All right. Well, let me go check the back to see if we have any calendars. Quick, Simmons, plant the bug. Man, I'm really glad we have these bug-shaped microphones. Eh, we don't have any calories in the bag. Oh, darn. Well, I guess we'll check Walmart. Thank you. Hey, wait, 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 wait. You left your weird bug-shaped thing on my counter. Oh, you know what? You can keep it. That's fine. Okay, shit. More product for me. All right, Simmons. Now we just have to sit here and listen until we hear some illegal activity going on. Hey, welcome to Gary's Goodies Pawn Shop. If we don't have it... For the right amount of money, I can get it. Well, I got something to sell. Okay, what you got to sell? I got an eight ball of Coke. Holy shit, a whole eight ball of Coke? The street value of that's like $350, so I could probably give you like 300 right now for it. Okay. You hear that, Simmons? He's straight up buying an eight ball of cocaine from someone right now. We got him. Now let's see if they admit to anything else. All right, kid, let me see the Coke. All right, it's right here in this eight ball. Holy shit! You're telling me that eight ball is filled to the top with Coke? Yep, all the way to the top. That's way more than three and a half grams. That's going to be a whole ass pound. That's like $45,000 worth of Coke. Listen, kid, I'll give you 30 grand for that right now. Okay, I can buy a lot of cheese sticks for that. Yes, you could. Holy shit, he's selling a pound of cocaine. That's distribution. And he said he's going to buy cheese sticks for $30,000. That must be some kind of new street drug. All right, kid, here's your 30 grand. Pleasure doing business with you. And hey, if you want to borrow my lady of the night, you can free a charge. Okay. I think I will. I'm going to show it to my daddy. All right. Well, I'm going to go bust this bad boy open and get all the coke out. Come on, Simmons. We got to go bust him. Go, 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 go. Oh. Uh, Mike, can you unlock the door? What? It's not locked. It is locked. I can't open it. Well, hold on. Okay, I'll unlock it. I'm trying to open it. It won't open. What? You're, you're trying to open it as I'm pushing the button. No, I'm not. What? Simmons, stop, stop, stop. Just wait. Just wait. I got it. Okay. God damn it. All right. Time to pour my eight ball of coke into my father's coke jar. Wait a minute, what is this? This isn't coke. What is that, like black paw heroin? <gasps> I'm gonna be rich! Freeze, you're under arrest! For what? For buying a whole bunch of coke. We heard the whole thing. We bugged the place. Yeah, well, I didn't buy a whole eight ball of coke because the eight ball was filled with this weird brown liquid. Let me see that. Oh, that's Coca-Cola. What? <laughs> You're telling me that I just spent 30 grand on an eight ball of Coca-Cola? <laughs> yeah, you did. But Simmons, this means we can't arrest him because he didn't actually buy any drugs. Yeah, you jerkwads. The only way you'd be able to arrest me is if I had an actual eight ball of Coke that looks something like that right there. Get on the ground. All right, sir, we got him. Possession of cocaine. Right here. <laughs> Why is he crying? Because I just spent $30,000 on an eight ball of Coca-Cola. Yeah, some kid came in and scammed him. He gave him $30,000 and the kid said he was going to spend it on cheese sticks. Huh, $30,000 for cheese sticks? That doesn't sound right. It must be some new kind of drug. I need you officers to investigate that. Well, I got paperwork and I got to put this in the evidence drawer. I think I know where the kid lives, sir. I'll take care of it. So what happens to me now? Oh, you got a meeting with Big Bob. He's going to give you a cock meat sandwich. Again? All right, Danny. I saw my eight ball toy at the pawn shop. Yeah, what'd they give you? Like 10 cents? $30,000. Wait, what? How? Jeffy, who's your friend? Big Tidia, because she's got big titties. Wait, no, Jeffy, uh, this does not make any sense. Where'd you get that doll? The guy in the pawn shop gave her to me when I sold her my eight ball. Wait, 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 wait. This is not making any sense. Why would the pawn shop give you $30,000 in cash and a doll for a broken eight ball toy with soda inside it? I don't know. The guy just really wanted the Coke that was inside. I I guess he was really thirsty. Baby, this is not making sense. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have cheese sticks I have to go buy with my friends. Wait, wait, hold on. Can I, can I have some of that money? No, because you didn't believe in me. Come on, baby. Big tittier. What? Baby, how did he get all that money? I don't know. All right, guys, I got $30,000 for cheese sticks. That's a little bit more than the $4.73 you needed. Well, come on, guys. Let's go to the bowling alley. I'm buying the cheese sticks. Yeah. Wait, dude, who is her? Big tittier. Yes, she is. Arr! All right, guys, come on. Let's go to the bowling alley. Wait, I don't think she want to go to the bowling alley. <laughs> I'm going to just go and show her the bathroom floor. <laughs> All right, wash her when you're done. Hey there. Wait.
Wait, you can't just come inside my house without a warrant. Oh man, you're right. And I was just talking about how important that is too. Uh, can we just pretend I have a warrant? This is really important. No, you better leave unless you get a warrant. <sighs> okay. Judge Pooby, can I have a warrant? I'll allow it. Thank you. Okay, I have a warrant. Now, I think your son might be in big trouble. Me too. He's been acting very weird. Yeah, and I was doing a sting operation on a pawn shop earlier, and he came in and sold this guy an eight ball full of Coca-Cola for $30,000. Yeah, I know. I don't. That doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, and then he said he was going to spend that money on cheese sticks, and I'm worried that might be something dangerous. No, it's nothing dangerous. He just wants to buy cheese sticks from a bowling alley. Wait a minute. Who goes to a bowling alley just for cheese sticks? That seems fishy. Huh, if only I knew what cheese sticks really meant. Hold on, let me check the Urban Dictionary. They know everything. Okay, this first thing says cheese sticks are the best effing food in the world. I mean, that's true, but they don't cost $30,000. The second thing says it's a code word used by gangsters that means beer or alcohol. Okay, but still, alcohol doesn't cost $30,000. Now, this third thing says cheese stick. <gasps> It says cheese stick means unwashed penis. Oh god, I'm so sorry to have to inform you of this, but I think your son might be spending $30,000 on unwashed penis. No, I don't think so. I think he's just going to the bowling lanes to buy cheese sticks. Oh god, and he's going to the bowling alley where all the unwashed penis hangs out. No, no, he just wants the food cheese sticks. Oh god, I really hope you're right. Okay, I'm just gonna stay here, and when he comes back, I'm gonna smell his breath. Daddy, I'm home, and I brought leftover cheese sticks. Let me smell your breath. <sighs> Hmm, I guess it kind of smells like cheese stick, but then again, I don't really know what unwashed penis smells like. Here, get a whiff. Let me see. My god, it smells exactly the same. It smells like cheese stick, but how? Because I took one of the cheese sticks and rubbed it all over my unwashed wiener. Oh, well, I don't know. I guess I consider this case closed. I was going to have a cheese stick, but I don't know which one he rubbed on his wiener. I already ate that one. Oh, great. I guess I'll take this one. I dropped that one on the floor. You know what? I'm not gonna have any. Wait, so he gets to keep all the money he took from the drug dealer? Yeah, he didn't do anything wrong, and the drug dealer's just stupid. Unless the drug dealer decides to escape from jail and get his revenge on Jeffy for scamming him! Ooh! No, no, that's probably not gonna happen. We don't really do part twos. Unless... No, no, they, they probably don't want that. Unless you do. Hmm? Part two? Maybe? Tell us. I'm gonna take one of these, I don't care.